Hi everybody, uh, my name is Ricky. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining me uh, on my new page. This is gonna be my first video. This video has been um, in the works for a long time, it means a lot to me. And I truly appreciate anybody that stops by and views it or you know, hopefully helps somebody um, in their journey. Um, the title of this video is going to be, and I thought about it for a while because I'm trying to, there's so much to sum up in a video and I'm going to be doing a lot of videos um, just because this is something that wants to come out, um, something I want to share, something I want to help people with. Um, and I think it'll help me as well. So um, again, I appreciate everybody that views this. Um, please um, comment um, or join me on my other uh, social media platforms so we could discuss this and just kind of a support system for, you know, people that are going through this or, or starting um, on a new journey, um, kind of going back to what they who they truly are. Um, so it kind of ties into the title, which is from an altar boy to basically an atheist and not exactly like, um, oh, I don't believe in God and this, that, because for me, I always had a deep sense of there was something bigger than me moving the pieces around in life and and I was a true believer of, of there's no such thing as a coincidence. So I was paying attention to a lot of these things, even though I was in kind of a bad place in life. I mean, not the best person, not doing the, the nicest things, not treating people well. Um, just being a playboy or a, you know, a, a club guy, a um, disregarding my family and, and things like that. So so basically starting from an altar, ba altar boy going through that other process. And I truly believe in life, we go through like three different processes in life. It's like the child and then those teen years, right? Those teen plus years. Sometimes it takes a while to reawaken. Um, and then you start going into the, the peaceful state, it kind of going back to who you truly are, right? So life kind of beats us up and, um, changes us and, and we kind of adapt to other people or other situations. And we're, it's just kind of going away from who you truly are. Um, so again, from altar boy to basically atheist. Uh, to coming back to God. Um, I am of the Catholic religion and truly proud. I could say proud, especially the last couple months, the last year or so, like coming back, coming back home. Um, and it feels good. And I just kind of want to share that and maybe get some support and, and maybe some pointers of how, you know, I'm kind of learning privately and this is kind of a interesting thing that goes on you know when you're the cool guy um it, you know it's kind of hard to ask for people like like hey what's going on with your spiritual world what how, how do you feel about god what's are you going to church this it, it's a weird place you know and for many of you maybe not but because the ego or whatever kind of gets in the way and you know and that's something that I'm struggling with to this, to this moment. I mean, I'm filming this in my truck because I really don't want to um, share this that fully with my wife. She knows I've been going back to church and and kind of going through my own personal journey, but I kind of been keeping it in. So, so um, this is something that I'm sure many people deal with as they're kind of going back or. <clears throat> or maybe you found a new religion and you just you're not sure how to share it with people so that's kind of something that I'm going to, going to be working on um so yeah so my name is Ricky I'm from New Jersey I uh 
went to Catholic school as a young child. Thankfully, my mother, you know, who knew? I came from, from a um, broken household, so my single mom um, uh, was new enough and was religious enough to send me to a Catholic school, with which looking back now has helped me tremendously, not even knowing in a moment. You know, when you're young, you don't respect, you don't, I, I didn't. I, I mean, maybe it's just kind of who I was or who I, where I came from, but you know, you, you really don't respect what you have in front of you or what people are doing for you until a little bit later in life. And, um, and that's my whole point of this video and things kind of, kind of giving back. Um, so, um, <clears throat> and then going through, so I was an altar boy, um, went to Catholic school. And then the funny thing is, and then we transitioned. So I guess at some point, my mother, when she became single, so when my parents divorced, she couldn't afford uh, the Catholic school no more. Or maybe she thought it wasn't working because I wasn't the best of students. So I ended up going to public school. And, uh, and wow, did I know the difference, felt the difference. Just the difference of um, that wholesome feeling that loving that nurturing support that i was getting from um the catholic school not saying that public school is bad but i had both worlds and i i knew what the one felt like now i'm not sure exactly if it was the humans involved or the god aspect like um but there was something there and uh and it stuck with me because to this day um my son was going to preschool, which was Catholic. We took him out. Uh, we actually didn't continue with school because of the COVID, but I'm working really hard to get him back. He'll be going to kindergarten, so to be going back into Catholic school because I, I, seen what the, I knew what that felt like and it felt good and, and the support was there. And um, hopefully I could, uh, I'll be able to manage to send him there. Um, so, then I went through this, so altar boy, everything fine, then went to public school, and then I kind of went through this atheist stage of, um, you know, like I had bad luck, right? But like, I was pretty much causing my own bad luck, but then anybody you could blame, which is your family, your friends, God, whoever, you know, so I remember arguing with my mom, like, who's this God, who's Jesus, who you believe this about this person up in the sky that doesn't, you know, like, give me a sign, give me something, but yet. The interesting part is, in the back of my heart, it's going to say in my mind, but in the back of my heart, I always knew there was always something there. Um, <clears throat> so as much as I was kind of pushing against it, I knew there was something there watching over me because I'm not sure I'd be here today being able to speak to you if I didn't have the the grace of God um, to help me along the way. Uh, and, uh, oof. Many hard times, many, many, many situations where things could have went a little bit this way, a little bit that way, and it would have not worked out for me. So I am blessed and I'm thankful and I'm, you know, I, Oh, I'm just so glad I'm getting this video out. I chose my mother's birthday today. Today is March 10th. Um, so I just kind of... I, I go by energy of things. And like that day, my mother means so much to me, right? Single mom, love her so much. So her birthday, and I've been wanting to put out this video and kind of just kind of share and talk to somebody about this. Because it's like, who do you... Um, who do you talk to, you know, when you don't have that kind of a circle? I don't have those kind of friends. You know, I have the 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 ego orientated manly kind of guys, you know, like so it's it, you know, that doesn't really work out so well. But you never know. They may be going through the same thing and and, and we'll never know that because the ego is so strong, the man thing is so strong, the you know, I don't want to be that guy that Oh, turn to God, you know, like, well, like all of a sudden he's, a, he's like that guy, which is so wrong, but it's just kind of what we're stuck to. Like, you're not, you're not supposed to be sensitive as a man. You're not supposed to cry and this, that. And I've been going through, 
crying and sensitive and going through all this stuff and and it's been feeling okay so you have to check in with yourself and see what you're feeling like and if it feels okay keep moving keep going and and try to share because sharing will maybe help somebody else so this is why i'm here talking about this um and i'm probably kind of all over the place but there's so much to share and um and i will be doing many videos and uh many posts on social media and stuff to just kind of you know build a nice support group i mean it would be nice to have that that nice um group to discuss things with and to help each other out <clears throat> so basically going through this atheist stage that i could talk about for a long time so i'm just going to try to cut it into sections here and then coming back so i got married a few years ago after the years of the craziness that i've been through knowing that god was always watching me and taking care of me um and uh and then things started it almost gave me the okay to kind of come back to myself i didn't have to be that cool guy no more i could have I calmed down um had my other son my second son my first son was with somebody years ago um that to be quite i'll just be honest here i didn't know the person too well um so i'm still working on that with my first son um but I had a uh, a new son with my wife, and I've been kind of coming back to myself and finding God in many ways, or God finding me. I guess God has always been with me, but kind of giving me the okay to kind of come back home, to kind of um, uh, allow me to share my feelings and go to church. and And it's been unbelievable the power now church has been online a lot so because of the covid and which is really gave me access because it's like all right maybe i'll you go to church once a month or this that but what happens is because it became online i've been tuning in and it's been getting sticking right so it's been deeper and it's been um not giving me much of an excuse you know it, because every morning I tune in and I love it. And I look forward to it. I actually went to live church today. Daily mass here. Um, and what's interesting is I actually went back to the first church that I... Well, I sent my son to the preschool, to the Catholic school. So I did stop at that church. But the first meaningful... I wanted to go to church for me. I went back to the original... I went to two Catholic schools when I was younger. I went to the second one because the other one has closed down, unfortunately. Uh, so I went there and wow, what a feeling. Cause like you remember being there as a child and um, it was just very special to me. And I've been going back there, even though it's not very close to my house, I, I not too far, but um, it's not the church that's right down the block here, which is also beautiful. Um, so I've been going there and it's been, been really special so basically coming back so kind of you know i think life is like a, a circle right it kind of you, you go back the wheel goes around so you go through these life stages and now it's like i'm coming back and it feels peaceful it feels good it's calming it's supportive um and i'm kind of learning how to be a catholic again i mean i there's so many things i don't know i was baptized and I had communion. So I was never confirmed. So that's something I'm going to be looking into. Um, but there's still so much I don't know, you know, but by learning to, by going to church and just kind of listening and tuning in and watching other YouTube videos, which there's some amazing videos out there, which has also helped. You know, it's interesting when you put your energy into a certain direction, things start kind of happening for you. And <clears throat> a lot of, Videos have popped up, like I'm finding interesting people, interesting videos. Um, so I've been kind of tuning into that to help support me and my journey. Um, the name of this channel is going to be St. Bernard Books. Um, and there's a lot behind that, a lot of circum, um, uh, a lot of, um, 
what's the word I'm using? Just kind of things that played into that name. I love dogs. There's a reason why the St. Bernard for a particular reason. Something with religion. A lot of coincidences. That was the word I was looking for. It was a lot of coincidences that, that brought me to that. And I'll get into that one day. Um, and the books part, I am a reseller. This is the kind of work I do. I own, own a estate sale company. So I uh, sell the contents of people's homes. I sell on eBay. I sell on Amazon. And books was always one of my favorites. Like truly, when, when I there's a lot of stuff you do for money because you have to, right? And then there's stuff that you do because you enjoy it. And books was one of them. So I wanted to basically start a ministry that's going to help um, feed dogs. I'm a huge animal lover. I don't have a St. Bernard yet, but it's in the works. And that'll be a fun journey. That'll be something really interesting um, because I'm working on getting a St. Bernard from Switzerland, from the monastery, from, uh, well, they don't, they don't have the, do the dogs at the monastery anymore, but there's a kennel, um, a huge foundation that took over the monastery dogs. So basically the St. Bernard uh, came from Switzerland and uh, the monks from the monastery used the dogs to help them find skiers and um, people in avalanches and, and just basically helping the local people go through the mountains and, and find people that were lost and stuff. So they were a service animal and that kind of held close to me. And then the St. Bernard and beautiful story you should read up on it i'll i'll go over it with you in in uh, another video i have some beautiful books about it so um that was really hit me to my heart and that's been really strong so i'm really going with that um so i want to take a piece of my book selling business and help um people in general but the dogs dogs especially um i would love to um donate to um uh maybe some churches do some um therapy work i would love that that's something i really want to get into is some therapy work so so we'll see we'll be working on that so it's all about giving back right like you want to you know once you start going back to god you start you wanting to give so because he's given to you he's given you so much you want to start giving so it's an interesting thing that happens you know it's just about what i'm going through is how to deploy that how to share how to give of myself how to take because again the ego involved the manly thing the you know i'm sure women go through this too you know you have a certain you know you're this person so when you start deviating from that shifting from that people start saying you know what's going on with him or her what's you know so it's hard to just because you've been trained into this oh this is who i am you know i'm this kind of person and i better stick but guess what it's okay it's okay allow yourself to pivot allow yourself to change and um and i think people will respect you for it people will love you the people that love you love you regardless so it, it, you know and and you i think you may be surprised of the new people that you attract that's what i'm feeling is like you start attracting new things once you shift your energy and and change in the way of your heart so basically following your heart, following what you're truly meant to be, not because it's good money, not because of this or that. It just the allowing, the surrender, the just being who you are or who God wants you to be and then serve. And, you know, all of these things will start coming to you and you'll want to share and blab like I'm doing here. I hope I'm not kind of all over the place, but. A lot I want to share. So, um, from an from an altar boy, believe it or not, a lot of people wouldn't believe me, but yes, I proudly was an altar boy. Too not sure, atheist ish, you know, just not believing, blaming. Everybody's got the good luck, I got the bad luck, and this and that, you know. So, and then coming back, and now that's where I am here, and. I'm excited. I'm thankful. Um, and I am appreciative. And I'm slowing it down. I used to go fast, fast. I'm trying to slow it down. 
observe and um and let let God work through me and 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 let myself work through my heart so in other words work for God and help people and serve so if you need me I'm here anything um you could email me St. Bernard Books at gmail.com. That's the word Saint spelled out. You could join me on Instagram, St. Bernard Books. Haven't posted anything yet. You know, I'm still kind of in private mode as much as I'm saying it's okay to share this, that. Um, I know it's okay. I just haven't done it yet. This video is a good start for me. Just putting it out into the universe and allowing it to be. Um, so um, you could follow me there. Uh, and then subscribe to this channel and, and let's do this together. <clears throat> I've been looking to go into confession. Uh, I think I'm going to be going really, really soon. You know, after like 35 years. Ugh. So I'm watching videos of how to go to confession, like what to do and how to. Because <laughs> I don't have a certain priest that I'm. There's nobody I talk to. I just go to church, um, spend time with Jesus in my personal prayer and thoughts and, and leave. So there's really no, I, I don't have anybody to say, hey, how do I? And I, I guess I could ask, what do you suggest? I don't know. I guess I could ask. Um, ask and you shall receive, right? <clears throat> so, um, okay, I guess I'll end this video here. There's a lot more coming. Um, if any suggestions, if you'd like to see any kind of videos, um, I definitely would like to take you into church to show you some of the beautiful churches here that I go to and kind of go through the process of the confession and stuff. That'll be cool to, you know, to kind of share that first time back. <clears throat> and, um, and ways that we could serve each other and, uh, and help each other. So I think we're all good people. You know, when a child is born, pure, beautiful, God, right? I think we're all gods in our own way. I mean, you know, I'm a Catholic, but I'm also spiritual. So I kind of pay attention to a lot of different spiritual people and different gods and, 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 um, and I truly believe that we are all pieces of God. And um, we're here to serve each other. So thank you so much. Have a blessed day.